I just realized though, um, a lot of what I was talking about last time, when I was saying like, oh, I wish I could do the tornado thing, that's actually their burst. That's their normal magic. That's their this. That's what that is. But um, it's unique to the polar bear and the sec, the the towel head. Okay. I have decided if this game does not die before castle before if this game doesn't die at the same time as uh, Battle Block Theater, it will die at the same time as Battle Block Theater. I guess that's also just kind of a consequence of it being um, them being different games and I'm playing them at the same time as a sister series thing. I feel like they should end up dying at the same time anyways. But if they don't, then I'm definitely killing one of them, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one. I don't know, though, since I don't know how long this game is. It's it's being nice at least this time, so sure. Uh, you know what? Yeah. That, again, this game has me trapped in an abusive cycle, but it's like, I'm fine with it at this point. <laughs> It's pretty funny sometimes, like the volleyball game, and some of the bosses are pretty wacky, but it's still, a, it's, it's just difficult for little to no reason, it seems like sometimes. So, that's my thoughts on it. I'm probably still, I, if I had known this was going to happen, I would have chosen, uh, the, the seahorse. Good thing these guys aren't a playable character. Ha ha ha. Some of them are. Sometimes. I'll show you a poisonous person. Ha 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 ha. Rosie O'Donnell. Alright, now that I'm done doing that. I haven't even I didn't even show a picture of Rosie O'Donnell, did I? Why would I Why would I do that? Lock out the entire screen. Alright. Now that I'm done being mad. For no reason. I'm not even mad. I mean, I feel like to some extent I let this game make me mad for slight comedic effect, but it's not that funny. Obviously. Oh my gosh, he turned into a good salmon. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's freaking hilarious. To me at least. I don't care what you think. That's funny. I'm just gonna be like that about this entire thing. I don't care what you think, that's funny to me. I think a lot of dumb stuff is funny, but it's... It's... It's it's the kind of comedy that is... Old. It's... Wholesome. I don't know. Like, a lot of memes, I don't get. But... A lot of good comedy stuff is funny to me. I don't know, I'm kind of the... I'm at an in-between point. A lot of the first part of my life, I felt like I needed to be just like everybody else, which is a lot about how everybody else feels. But now that I don't care, I'm realizing that I like a lot of old stuff more. And I do think this generation is just screwed because, like, I feel like we have been, we've, uh, we don't have the capacity to make anything new to figure more stuff out because we already have telephones and such everything's just kind of easy now but like ooh a chicken what does he do I don't know but this guy makes me more agile so I'll figure it out and then I'll come back I won't have to come back though hey buddy how you doing it'd be cool if you could eat the cooked salmon because uh, it's a funny joke mixed with the fact that we're not getting screwed over by the game again. And I'm also doing really well at racking out damage, so that's nice. Hey, I didn't actually get fully poisoned by that, which is also very nice. I didn't even think they had char enemies that you couldn't end up being playable characters. Though, I guess that's to be expected eventually. Um, and also there's the bosses, and... Um, like I guess Conehead Jr. ain't 
uh, is a playable character, but not to the power of his organ of cannonballs money. Cannon bolt. Sorry, I like Ben 10. It's probably his food in it. Food. Okay. Hey, look, people that might actually run down my health enough to warrant an apple. Hey, look, an apple that I just ate, because why not? I can't wait till I get the, 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 the bear. I don't know. I just realized, though, um, a lot of what I was talking about last time, when I was saying, like, oh, I wish I could do the tornado thing, that's actually their burst. That's their normal magic. That's their this. That's what that is. But, um, it's unique to the polar bear and the sec- the, the towel head. Okay. <sighs> now that I'm done being slightly racist, uh... Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm never done. What if I mean slightly? No ending lag. There's just a lot of beginning lag. You're dang right. Come on. Oh yeah. Um. Oh wait. Yeah, I already put it in my other video. Um. X X X Y. Yay. Elemental infusion. I am doing quite a bit more. Well, uh, give or take a bit more damage. I, I mean, it might just be my aerials. Apparently, I just figured out aerial combos while juggling helps. Uh, they're not as good as normal combos. Eh. And I really need to use magic more. It's probably a good thing. Like this boy. And that could be a pretty good combo closer or something. I don't know. I don't think like some of these people that are really good at video games and combos and such. I just click buttons until something works. Though, I can't really criticize people if that's what I'm going to do, because that's also kind of what I don't like about a lot of people. Um, that we just kind of go with whatever works, we don't really question a lot of stuff. Whereas, um, and I'm really just saying this about what's socially acceptable. Uh, like, particularly, um, like, corporal punishment. <laughs> I was, uh, I was punished physically as a child, and I turned out pretty fine, but, like, uh, I saw this Philip DeFranco video, and I felt the need to comment. I'll probably put it in the script. Ooh. I'll probably put it in the description, but like, um, it didn't go well. And people were just like, well, obviously you didn't turn out fine because it fit within what I consider is morally acceptable. And I'm sitting there like, well, eh. Oh no, snakehead. Maybe her boot is what is the weak point. Okay. I'm not gonna like this at all, I can tell. Oh no. It's gonna be hit and run tactics, huh? I'm gonna have to get my... You know what? Arrows work. I don't... I hate... I hate this game. This is what this game does. This is what it continues to do. It does not do anything else except this. It's gonna freak you over. Oh, cool. And then, this is how it happens. Because it's gonna do this, and then it's gonna keep doing this, and there's no escape. But, Oh well, I guess there's no, there's, that's not the fault of the game, hate the player, not the game. Freaking hate that saying because, like, then I start disliking sports because people are a-holes, and then 
it's take the game, not the player, or something. Wait. No. Actually, yeah. Um. At the same. Never mind. I get that it's like. Never mind. I don't. I'm not gonna start talking about moral society because that's the one thing I hate. I hate society. And it's not even me being some freaking liberal about it. I just don't like that we need to change things, and then when things don't work, we refuse to believe that it's our fault. Uh, but I guess I do that sometimes, so it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm not gonna avoid the problem, but it's it's not my fault. Die, die, bitch. Family friendly content. I can't attack the big snake lady if I can't look at her. Except that's not how it works. Bombs. I wonder if the horn does anything. No. No, nothing at all. And her freaking snake hair does so much freaking damage, my god. Then again, I guess my magic does more. No, it just does the same amount. This is what I don't like about the boss battles, though, because they're just tedious. They're just... It's not even difficult. It's just, if you try and do it quick, it's not going to work out. Because you'll go up, you'll run up, you'll hit, some, hit, you'll hit them. You have to hit them from afar. That's why I've maxed out... Not even maxed out, I've just worked on my agility the whole time. I have the most agile weapon. Uh, I have Scratch Paw. I'm sitting here just bowing her to death because I freaking hate this game. That's the only thing that works. You run a- because you don't get hit. And if you get hit, then you're gonna die. Because... That's how this game ends up working you get hit you die I mean that's how it works in the real world but it shouldn't it should be the same for everyone and every time she even rears up for an attack I feel like I'm gonna get hit and just have half, half my health stripped from me because that's what this game's trained me to think that's what this is gonna do to me like um this guy's gonna slam a giant door on my head. Okay. And now it's gotten to be like, this girl's gonna throw a snake at me. I'm gonna die. Because I don't care how much damage gets done. I just wanna be alive in the end. I I wanna I wanna live. I wanna be able to actually attack people without getting thrown on my back right after everything. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Who's that knocking on my door? I'm gonna kick this hoe into next submission. One, two, three, four. That's... I get in four hits before anything, and she's letting out so many snakes. So many little snakes. I don't care. I'm just gonna kill this hoe. I don't give a crap. She's got me down to half health. I'm gonna kill her. And you can only hit her from the front, which is the place that she can hit you. Freaking stupid ass bitch. That's how angry I am. I don't know why she turned she turned to stone. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. Pretty bad though. I mean Oh, I didn't know this had a negative on it. Oh well. Uh eh. That level wasn't too bad. Should probably work on my strength though. Uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Probably not, actually. I'll check. Yeah, extra short video today, I guess. <laughs> but that was that was it. I mean, it was just this part, and then I mean, there's. They're just kind of hitting us with a boss rush at this point. 
and I'm not sure how long this is gonna last versus Castle um, Battle Block Theater. I think it has nine levels actually, but nine is not an even number, so it doesn't make sense. Maybe ten or just eight. I've been playing Slime Rancher recently, and it's pretty good. It's fun. I don't know. I just like the way it used to be. I like the way everything used to be because, like, I sit here at home, kind of doing nothing, and then I get depressed because I I don't do anything. I have nothing to do with my life. But like. Used to be, by now I'd have a job for life, I'd have something to do with my life, I'd have a reason to be alive, or, and I'd be working enough that I wouldn't think about why do I exist, I would just think about whatever I was working on. And modern technology has made it easier, everything's easy now, but we've also li we also live longer. So that's more people that can get a job done better than a younger person. So instead we have modern education, which is really just a waste of time until we get a job and realize that everything was just a waste of time. And if we realize that before then, we're just depressed. Because nothing matters. And it's not like we're progressing any further now. It might just be that there had we we just have to screw up really bad as a race before we can realize that we've screwed up but oh well and but I'm I'm all down for that that's how I grew up and I'm fine um, if I'm not a, but like everybody's defensive of everything but it doesn't work if you're not allowed to screw up then you'll never realize why anything's wrong like uh, my dad was talking earlier he, he did he used to do martial arts or something and um, what what they learn at some point as a child they would you learn is just how to kill someone and I was sitting there thinking like the typical thought somebody would have like you don't teach a child how to kill someone because then the child's gonna kill someone, but at the same time, it's about respect and trust and such. There's gonna be a child. If you teach every child in the world how to kill someone, then there's gonna be a child or, t or a couple of children. There's definitely gonna be some children and something's wrong about them. Something wrong with their lives. They're gonna go out and kill people, but... Like, it's... He was saying... If you teach a kid to kill someone, then it's they don't want to do it. And I can I can realize that like I don't know how deathly things work, but if you punch someone in the face, or if they have I don't I mean I guess not really that's not a good example, but if somebody if you end up fighting someone or something, if somebody gets hurt, then they don't want to inflict that upon someone else. It's empathy. It's consideration. I really wish more people had that, but I guess they do. It's just we don't we don't deal with stuff anymore. We don't really have to. And since you don't have to do anything, you don't. I don't do anything. And it's not exactly leading to great success. I mean, I'm not doing terribly. I'm pretty good off, I would say. But it's it's not doing very well much for me. At least I don't think. Really, it's about realization. At least I know I know that I need to do something to, with my life, or I'm just going to be unhappy. That's why I'm doing this. At some point I realized that if I'm not doing anything, then I'm not going to like my life. And really this was just so other people would like me, but heck, other people aren't going to like me. I get it. Other people aren't going to like me for things that I did freaking three years ago. Ten years ago. Well, I guess nobody really knew me ten years ago. But it shouldn't matter to me this much. But it does, because we're human.
it just doesn't feel right. But in the end, it is. It's the way that we are. Nobody's ever going to be perfect. The world's never going to be perfect because then it won't be perfect. That's the epiphany of human life. If we make the world perfect, then it's just going to destroy itself. The whole thing is that we have to just let things happen. Because the way it is, is debatably not as good as the way it was in like the 60s. I mean, my dad grew up in the 70s. Well, I guess not the 60s, but like, my dad grew up in the 70s and 80s, and they were all fearing for their lives for, uh, about nuclear war, and gas prices were terrible, but people, parents would like let their children run around in the woods. Nobody cared. People cared, but like, if you do something dumb, then you're not going to do it again. <laughs> Whereas kids now, they don't, they aren't allowed to do anything a lot of times, and so they just do dumb stuff when nobody cares. And then it just continues. But oh well, I, I probably talked to make this long enough to be like a 20 minute video, it doesn't matter. I'll see you guys next time when I have something to rant about a little bit. Um, See you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye!